Scott. All right, but we're here to talk about dulcimers, and uh, no one knows dulcimers better than Mark here. He's been building these instruments for 36 years, and as the owner of Smoky Mountain Dulcimers here in Gatlinburg. So he's going to tell you more about it. Thank you, Tim. Folks, Mountain Dulcimer is a rather unique instrument designed back in the hills of Kentucky and West Virginia nearly 200 years ago. Um, holding up so you can kind of see that the frets on a dulcimer don't look like they do on guitars and mandolins and any other instrument for that matter because they've taken out frets that really don't sound all that good. Smart guys. Uh, of course, I've lost my pick now. There it is, under the stick. And traditionally, back in the mountains, they would simply take a stick on the first string, slide it along, listening for the sound of the word because they didn't have books with numbers in them, and they'd just simply play by ear. The other two strings, however, kind of recreate the sound of the bagpipe. You go back in history, most of the early settlers in the mountains of Kentucky and West Virginia were Scotch-Irish folks. Some other groups as well, but the Scotch-Irish really liked the idea that this instrument could sound a lot like a string bagpipe. So with that thought in mind, I'm going to play you a little bagpipe tune so you can hear the sound of the bagpipe in the mountain dolls. Thank you. 